click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the structure of the platinum complex and now in this topic we are going to talk about the structure of hexacyano iron complex. So now let us understand what is the structure of this complex based on PPT. Hello friends, now here we are going to talk about the structure of that is hexacyano Fe ion complex and in that case suppose let us understand that is the electronic configuration of Fe that is it is 26 that is what we know but is but we could write it in the form of that is argon 18 3d 6 4s2 4p0 but talking about this iron in this complex we understand that is the oxidation number of this Fe it will be 2 plus so in that case we could write the electronic configuration of Fe 2 plus also so in that case we could get that is argon 18 3d 6 4 s 0 because the electrons are being lost from this orbital and this is what we have that is 3d6 4s0 and 4p0 and now let us understand that is suppose if we are talking about that is d orbital so therefore it consists of 1 2 3 4 5 5 orbitals this is the 4s orbital and this is the p orbital so talking about the d orbital d orbital consists of six electrons so therefore i could fill it over here that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 based on the Hertz rule and the thing is here we have basically six cyanide ligands that are been approaching the Fe so in that case since cyanide is a strong field ligand so because of that what will happen is the electrons that are unpaired over here they will get paired up and this process is known as spin pairing and this will happen and therefore the structure or the hybridization of the Fe that could also be understood so in that case we could find that is this orbital it will have the electrons that is one two so therefore this four will get paired up one two three four and now we have empty orbitals and those empty orbitals are one two three four five six six empty orbitals and here also we can find that is the ligands are that is six ligands are approaching the fe so in that case we could get that is the hybridization of this metal ion in that case it is fe2 plus so therefore we could get d2 s and p3 so therefore the fe2 plus ion it will undergo through hybridization that is d2 sp3 or we could also call it as sp3 d2 so this kind of hybridization will give the geometry to the complex or it will give the structure to the complex as an octahedral complex in that case we see we have orbitals left and that empty orbitals it will be fulfilled with the electrons that could be given by the cyanide and in that case it is ligand so therefore one to a lone pair of electron from one cyanide from second one third fourth fifth and six so this is how basically the electrons are being donated by the ligand and that is how basically the overlapping takes place and this overlapping is very much strong and the bond is known as coordination covalent bond and now let us understand the structure of this complex so it is simple to understand that is the fe it will be in the center while it will be surrounded by six cyanide ligands so this is the first one here i'm going to talk about the second one third fourth fifth and this one would be the sixth so therefore the coordination number for fe is a six but we can also find that is the geometry is octahedral geometry but talking about the magnetism obviously we can't find any kind of unpaired electrons and that's the reason that this complex is basically diametric in nature so that's it so this is what i want to talk about so thank you friends for watching this video i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. thank you so much